Hi and welcome to another Aura tutorial. In this video I will show you how to insert and configure Aura buttons that link to the content of your choice. Alright, let's go! To insert an Aura button, open up the macro browser and search for the Aura button entry. Click on that once and you are in the Aura button configuration dialog. Now let's start configuring the button. The first option is the label. This is the text that you can see here inside the button. So if you change it right now, so for example, I want to link to the Google Play Store, I will insert the desired text in here and you see in the live preview the result. Now you can choose between different sizes. Medium is the current one, it's like the standard. If you want to, uh, to adjust this, you can simply click on small or on large. I will stick to medium here. The next option is link. Now, this is very important. You want to link to specific content. So click on add link and now you are in the insert link dialog. On the left side you see different options, so the first one is the search. You can search of course for conference pages or blogs in the current space or in all spaces, recently viewed ones, attachments of course. Everything is nicely organized here and uh, let's skip that and go directly to the web option. Here you are able to link to external content like URLs or email. So for example, if you insert an email here, you see that Aura recognizes that and uh, it's showing you this uh, icon of, an, of a mail. And the cool thing is if you would now click on the button, then the default email app that you have installed on your, de on your device will open up. Um, so what I want to do here is I want to link for example to Google and you have to confirm that by clicking on this field once and now you see that the link appears in this field. If you want to now edit this because maybe you uh, inserted the wrong um, link or whatever, just click on that once again and you are back here in the insert the link dialog. So the last option I want to show you is the anchor option. You're also able to link to anchors that have been inserted on this page. And um, if I would now do that uh, and click on the button, I would directly scroll down, for example, to the place where the anchor has been inserted. The last option that you see here is that you can also link um, uh, that you can also open up links in a new tab. So this is an option that um, makes especially sense if you, for example, link to external content like the um, Google page that I showed you. The next section is all about appearance. So this is, I think, where the fun begins. Now you have the option to change the color of this button. So for example, you see here different color boxes, simply click on them and you see how the color changes. Um, there is a color palette drop down here. So you're able to select from different color palettes, which are predefined color combinations that a conference administrator can prepare for you. And um, this is especially cool if you have different products that have different colors or maybe you have a corporate identity and uh, you are always able to select that and then also to select the correct colors. If an administrator uh, is, uh, allows that you can also use custom colors, you will see the paint bucket here and you are also able to choose from every color that is available and you also see that everything here is in real time. So let's go back to red, for example. Now you can round the edges. So you can select if you don't want any edges or if you really go to full roundness here. You can outline the button. So now you see it's 
the like the inverted style if you would hover now it will fill up you can also place a shadow so now you see that there is like a shadow here and uh, of course you can also disable outline again and still activate shadow so you have different options here that you can combine and the last option that you see here is the icon click on add icon and now you're able to see the icon here on the left side so you can select from many different icons you can search for them and uh, for example in this case i want to search for google and you already see different google matches here and the google play store icon is this one so i select this one and uh, maybe um, if you don't want to um, place it on the left side you can also place it on the right side um, i will i think i will stay here on the left side and uh, maybe i will change the button size to large so you see you can always change everything and um, like that for example and now what is very important is not to click on close because then your work is gone you want to click save and now the button is here in the edit mode already visible so you see what you're doing and you can also of course um, if you hover over it you can place it somewhere else and uh, if I update the page you will see how it looks like and now I'm able to use the button so that's it please make sure to also watch the other aura tutorials especially the ones where aura macros are used in combination thanks for watching bye